We want to thank everybody who participated in the 10 days of prayer. We're on the other side of it now. And then we just want to say thank you to all the churches and the members and the pastors who led up with their congregations, the conferences and the unions for calling God's people together to pray. We never would have imagined that in planning for the 10 days of prayer that we would find the world in the chaos that it is in now. And what a wonderful thing to know that while the world was in chaos, God's people were praying. And not only were we praying, but we were really seeking God, trusting that God is going to come through for us. And you know, before the 10 days of prayer started, God was already on the job. For the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24, that, and it shall come to pass that before we call, he will answer. And while we are still speaking, he will hear. Oh, I'm so thankful that prayers were answered before we started praying. So continue to pray. Don't think that because the 10 days are over, that that is over. It's never over. There, there's never a benediction to the end of prayer. <laughs> no, no. And you know, our theme for this year is, and when they had prayed, dot, dot, dot. You finish the sentence. Because there's so many instances in the Bible that when God's people pray, things happen. And we ought to expect for God to come through for his people. So we have prayed now, we've celebrated, let's continue to pray now. Let's actually pray more now than ever before. I may not have confidence in man, I may not have confidence in government, I may not have confidence in my job, in my things, in my stuff, but I have confidence in God. I have confidence in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I leave you with this blessing, and it's found in the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6. You know, the, the last part of verse 13 says, for you are the, 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 the kingdom the power and the glory. That's the benediction part of the Lord's Prayer. You did know that the Lord's Prayer comes in three parts, right? Invocation, intercession, and benediction. That's the benediction. For you are the kingdom, you are the power, and you are the glory. And between kingdom and glory is power. So we thank God that he's blessing us with power now and, uh, and, and as we come to the kingdom to celebrate his glory. Oh yes, hallelujah. And as we end those 10 days of prayer, we don't end our prayer experience with God. Let us continue to seek God that like we've never sought him before. And until next year, there's a whole lot of praying between now and then. Our world needs our prayers. Let us pray without ceasing like we've never prayed before. God bless you, everybody. Thank you for your prayers.